What up people, big news tonight. Game of Thrones season two has been officially confirmed by Kevin Bruner, CEO of Telltale Games. You can check out the original article in the description below for full details. Now it says here, a second season for the Game of Thrones series has been the plan all along prior to the release of the first episode and it's already in development at this point of time. So if you felt there was a lot of unanswered questions after you finished the season finale, it was done intentionally to pave the way for the second season. Kevin even admits to this in the article, just like the show, we knew we had to leave some questions unanswered while firmly resolving others. We love that different players will end up with a different Forester depending on how you play and those decisions will affect how the unanswered questions get resolved. I won't spoil the details for those who are for anyone, but let me just say this, the North Grove must never be lost. So we're still quoting the lines from the first episode here. Currently, I've only played one playthrough with the final episode so far, but I've read a lot of comments and I know my journey could have ended up very differently if I made different choices. With this news of a second season, I'm very curious on how Telltale will carve future episodes around the choices I have made, especially considering how many characters I got killed. Right now, I'm thinking the main protagonist will probably switch to the constant team of Forrester characters who cannot die. Uh, those being Garrett, Ryan, even though he's very young, he can still be a viable candidate. Uh, Talia, Uncle Malcolm, hanging out with uh, Daenerys, don't forget about him. Beska, or maybe even one of these newly discovered Gregor Forrester bastards. But yeah, people, check out the full article for more details. Kevin actually talks about Game of Thrones season one in more detail, why they chose to take this story in a certain direction, why the Forrester family shares a lot of similarities with the Starks and more stuff like that. It's a good read. But before you actually check that article, don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up and tell me in the comments what you think about this news and what do you want to see in a Game of Thrones second season. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.